Tap cap to the service port by using the torque wrench. Unscrew the two-way valve and three-way valve stamp cap. Open the two-way valve by turning the valve stem 90 degrees in counterclockwise direction by hexagonal wrench. Hold this position for 10 seconds and close the two-way valve. Use a gas detector to reconfirm there is no gas leak. If there is gas leak, repair the location of the leak. Then remove the three-way valve stamp cap. Fully open the two-way and three-way valve by turning the valve stem in counterclockwise direction until it stops with a hexagonal wrench. Tighten the valve stem caps of the two-way and three-way valve with a torque wrench. Avoid using any spanner. Extend the drain hose for better water drainage purpose. For a more secure connection and to prevent water from leaking out, use some tape to reinforce the connection. For better appearance of the connecting pipes, it should be wrapped with a tape or any other accessories. Remember to wrap the tape from bottom to upward direction to prevent water invasion from external factors. To prevent water invasion to Indo side, all remaining gaps at the hole drill should be covered by putty or any other kind of suitable sealant. Alternatively, you may also use trunk to complete the outdoor pipe finishing. Additional refrigerant charging process. This process is required if the piping length is longer than the pre-charge length of the air conditioner unit. Note, the additional refrigerant charging process should be performed right after evacuation process. Before charging additional refrigerant to the system, Please take note on the R410A refrigerant marking at the outdoor unit to avoid using wrong refrigerant charging. When evacuation is completed, the low handle of the manifold gauge must be closed and vacuum pump is off. Remove the valve stamp cap of two-way and three-way valve. Fully open the two-way and three-way valve by turning the valve stem gently in counterclockwise direction until it stops with a hexagonal wrench. To perform charging process, put the R410A refrigerant tank onto the digital scale. Disconnect the yellow colored charging hose from the vacuum pump and connect it to the refrigerant tank. To ensure refrigerant charging is in liquid phase, please note the marking on the tank to determine the charging direction. Open the valve of the refrigerant tank by turning the knob counterclockwise. Next, loosen the connecting ports between yellow colored charging hose and manifold gauge to purge out the air collected inside the hose. Now, reverse the refrigerant tank in upside-down position for refrigerant charging in liquid phase. 
operate the unit in cooling mode and make sure that the compressor is running. Note the weight reading at the digital scale. Then open the low handle of the manifold gauge to begin charging. Note the reduction of the weight reading at the digital scale during charging. Close the low handle of the manifold gauge at the valve of the refrigerant tank when the required refrigerant amount is charged. Disconnect all charging hoses. Stop the unit and fix back the control board cover. Test operation, drainage. For water drainage inspection, lift up the front grill as shown. Pour some amount of water into the drain pan. Note the water discharge from the drain pump at outdoor side to confirm drainage functionality. Test operation, indoor unit. Plug in the power and operate the unit at cooling operation using high fan speed for 15 minutes or more. Measure the temperature of the intake and discharge air by using the thermometer. Make sure the difference between the intake temperature and the discharge is more than 8 degrees Celsius. Now, the installation has completed.